throughout the year for this Enduro World Series, we've been to some fairly remote mountain sites all over the world. But this time for round six, we come here to the hustle and bustle of Whistler. And as you can see, it's already living up to the hype. Coming into this sixth round, we are all set with Jared Graves leading the top of the men's series and Damon Otto giving up chase not far behind. Also, Justin Leo and Rennie Wildhaber are also in the mix. In the women's category, it's kind of been a battle between two riders all year and Caroline Chousson and Tracy Mosley. And they are only separated by 10 points coming in here. But there's also riders like Annika Beerton, who coming off winning her first stage last race, could also throw something in the mix. So it's going to be exciting to see what happens over this weekend's racing. It's a very good stage, very natural, technical and challenging, so it will be fun. Stage two, and what a stage. It takes in crazy train up at the top, and then it comes into all these woods at the bottom. Just like loads of fresh cut sections, and as you can see from how I just rode it, lots to catch you out. There's dust flying up everywhere, and there's just like this loose moss on the surface. Of work, but like I said, there's been a lot of people that have been working on this, and I could start listing names, but you've told me not to because we've only got to make this succinct. But there has been a huge amount of people, the community really got behind this. It's important to say that even without the racing, we'd have all these trails and it'd be a, all this work would be done. But because of the racing, it's kind of revived and it's allowed us to kind of revive these other trails as well, and hopefully not impact the other trails we've got, and hopefully start to make well, continue to make Whistler even more. Bountiful. <laughs> it's cool, man, running a cut down spike, it grips real nice. I'm not sure how it's going to be on the transitions, but these stages, all four of them, apart from the last one, it's perfect, man, just real loose and loamy. Stage four takes in the infamous off-piste ride don't slide track here in Whistler. And it take, it's got some brilliant sections like this, looks straight out of a downhill track, roots, massive rocks everywhere. We've been watching the riders in practice and they're having trouble with it. They're having to push back up, look at sections again, especially bits like this. It is tricky and they're gonna have a serious challenge come race day. Come up with the Whistler Peak chairlift to the trail known as Top of the World, and it certainly lives up to that name. Just take a look at the view behind me. This is going to be stage five, the final stage of the race, and last year it all came down to this one. So this weekend the riders are going to be battling right up to the line, I expect. Yeah. 